Welcome back, everybody. Did you know that November is National Career Development Month? Some of the open jobs at technology companies are part of a new and growing type of employment trend. Now, they're going to term those jobs new collar, not white, not blue, but new. And to explain what that means, we're going to welcome career development expert at IBM, uh, Kelly Jordan, and also Jason Kelly, the GM of IBM Blockchain Services, and who is a military veteran. So good morning, folks. Nice to have you here. Good morning, hey, Linda. Good morning, Linda. Maybe we can explain what are new collar jobs. Absolutely. New collar jobs are really those roles that fall on that spectrum between white collar and blue collar. They're roles that require not necessarily a four year degree, but some level of skill or knowledge. However, that skill could be learned in a variety of ways community colleges, developer boot camps, on the job experiences. We're really prioritizing what a candidate might bring to the role, not necessarily the fact that they just have a degree piece of paper. Absolutely. Now, how is IBM working with veterans seeking employment in this age of new collar? Uh, Linda, the first thing IBM did was we realized that there was this great pool of talent. And that talent is not just a talented uh, group of people who have those skills that are more technical, but those that have started with the, the softer skills, if you will, those things that by the culture and nature of the military is where they start with collaboration, with communication, with a strong work ethic. Those skills sit right there. So we said, look, let's tap into that. Let's pull some of those people forward into our business. Here's an opportunity to tap into you know, more than 200,000 service members transitioning every year. There's a healthy pipe of opportunity where we said, look, let's pull them in through programs such as our military fellowship uh, program where we're taking 12 weeks to begin to train them with the skills on top of that foundation that I mentioned, with those skills that help them transition, as well as working with not-for-profits such as uh, Corporate America Supports You, or CASEY as the acronym is. And they themselves have helped place more than 40,000 veterans already. So in doing those types of programs and teaming, we're trying to pull these, these veterans forward into reach our, our goal of 2,000 veterans by 2020, and that's our Vet2K program. Now, is that the apprenticeship program that you started last year? Because if it is, it sounds like it's going great. It's working in collaboration with that, and, and Kelly can tell you more about that. Yeah, we started with seven apprentices last fall. We've got more than 170 today in locations across the U.S. Veterans actually make up about 20% of our program, which is a statistic we're really proud of. Uh, but apprentices are getting, over the course of 12 months, over 200 hours of learning. They're getting on-the-job experiences side-by-side -side with IBM managers and mentors. And they're getting the opportunity to earn credentials that hopefully will position them for jobs at IBM or jobs elsewhere in the technology industry. They're in roles like software engineer, cybersecurity, project manager, mainframe, design, uh, really runs the gamut of opportunities here at IBM, which is fantastic. Well, that is great because, again, this week certainly we're thinking of all our veterans. Where can our viewers go for more information? They can go to ibm.com forward slash new collar. They can learn about the apprenticeship program, our Vet2K initiative. There's also great free learning that's out there where you can take a couple of classes and earn some digital credentials as a new way to showcase your skills for Career Development Month. Thank you so much, Kelly and Jason, for all that great information.